Hi guys. So what I want to talk to you about today is the sensor inside of the vape, pen, vape pens. Uh, it looks like a microphone and on the back side it has an LED. This LED indicates when, when the vape pen is activated. Uh, so in effect when you try to uh, take a hit from the, the vape pen. Uh, the black one is ground. The red one is uh, connected to the positive end of the battery and the blue one is actually uh, connected to the heater that transforms the, the vape fluid to, to vape. Uh, it looks like a microphone but from what I could uh, uh, find on the internet about these sensors is actually a capacitive, uh, capacitive sensor. In, uh, when you inhale, there is like a little plastic diaphragm inside of the skin that uh, shrinks or expands and changes the capacity inside of this, um, this scan. So I was wondering if uh, we could uh, hack this and actually use it as a capacitive uh, touch sensor. I've uh, removed uh, the can from one of those sensors. Uh, and inside you can see a 5-pin SO, SOT package with the decoupling capacitors on the uh, power supply and on the back side is the LED from before. Here I saw that an extra wire. This is uh, for, uh, connected to the sense pin of the of the IC. I've removed the, the chip, put it on an adapter and stick it on a breadboard. Uh, the orange uh, the orange wire, this one little one, is actually connected to the sensor input, sense input of the chip. The red LED is connected to the heater or where the heater would be. And we have this uh, status LED that we showed earlier uh, on the on the breadboard itself. I will turn off the lights so you can see better. It will get a little bit dark in a moment. So I connect the ground wire. It, it goes through some kind of initialization and then everything is off. But when I put my finger on this orange wire, you can see that it actually triggers. And it's quite responsive, this one. The, the heater LED turns immediately, but the status LED has some kind of a soft start, soft stop. Yeah, in effect, if you disassemble a vape pen and get this IC out, you have a single channel uh, touch controller and you can make a button out of it if you want or use it in some other way in your projects. I have a few things that I want to measure out how much current you can put through this little chip before it burns out. So yeah, stay tuned for, for this information oh, and also have to test how much, uh, what is the maximum current and the maximum voltage that you can use this IC. But for uh, my guess is from 3 volts to, to 5 volts it would be just fine. Uh, yeah, so hope you like this video and Subscribe for more information. Bye.